Good morning, it's Mr. B here. I have my hat and I got some sleep, so let's rock. And I'm wearing a new shirt. Okay, horizontal and vertical translations. We have a couple videos telling us about uh, what they are. Now let's just look at a couple examples. I'm going to use a typical uh, easy function. Okay, we should know already that that's going to look like this. Something like that, okay? Uh, if you don't trust me, you could do a table of values. Okay, remember that's our secret trick for everything, is uh, set a table of values and pick any value of x and you'll pop out an, a y value that'll fall on the line. <clears throat> Always, table of values. Okay, so we said if we add something to the end of it, whatever this is, I've got a positive 3 here. What that means is that we're going to, on the y-axis, we move up 3 units, and there's our new, it's this exact function, but move three units up. Simple as that. So that's applying a positive three. Okay, what about this? We'll just imagine it like this. Brackets. What if we did this? Remember that the equation would be minus h, right? Okay, so what if we said we're going to have a horizontal shift? of um, positive three units, okay? Positive three units, okay? That means that h will be three, okay? Well, h is three. Remember that the negative, uh, that it's going to be minus, it, it appears that it's backwards, but it's really not because our h, our horizontal shift is a positive three units. Um, Let's just uh, get, get used to that. So what we have now, instead of this thing, we now have it like that thing. Okay. When it moves right, ultimately your end equation will have a negative sign there. Right, because minus subtracting a positive is a negative. So that's that equation. So what if we did a combination of both? It, it's quite easy. Now we're going to move this thing up. There's our new point. There's our new line. Right there. Okay. Does it matter if I... No. Strictly dealing... This is very important. Strictly dealing with vertical and horizontal translations. All we're doing is keeping the graphs looking identically the same. We're either going to move it... This is what we did. Okay. To get here, we can either move it that way first and then... So we can do a horizontal, then a vertical, or we could do a vertical and then a horizontal, okay? Either way, we're going to end up at the same point from where we are. If we go vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical. It doesn't matter which translation you do first with regards to vertical and horizontal. That will be the same. What does matter is when you get involved with uh, stretching and taking reciprocals and stuff like that. And there is an order a uh, uh, best order, and I will explain that in another video. But this is just some examples of vertical translations. Very important to know that the, whether you do horizontal or vertical translations first, it doesn't matter. And remember that translation is simply, um, it, it, the graph doesn't change its shape.